video, didn't I? So there you go. My guest today, a metal church, Seattle's hardest hitting rock and roll band. And seated on my right here, I have Duke Erickson and Kurt van der Hoof. Kurt is the guitar player and Duke is the bass player. That's right. Now, uh, of course, I'm saying all that, but a lot of uh, our fans in Europe will have already seen you. You've just actually been out there playing, right? Yeah, we were just finishing up our European tour. Our first European tour at that. Who have you, who have you been out there playing with? Metallica. Oh, Metallica? Yeah. The boss is there now. Yeah. <laughs> you bet. How did you find Europe? Is that the fans' first visit to uh, the continent? Yeah, we've tried many times before, but it never quite worked out. It's nice to finally be here, actually. And yes. touring with Metallica was a very good bill, so we had a real good time. Tell me, in, in, in America, is, is what we call, we're calling it thrash metal over here at the moment. I mean, there's lots of names for it. <laughs> at we're the call, moment. <laughs> we're, we're calling it thrash. Next week, it'll be something else. Right. Do you see yourself, I mean, you've obviously just been out with Metallica, and I call them the boss of yeah. thrash metal. Do you see yourself in the same sort of bag? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, we don't consider ourselves thrash metal at all. Mm -hmm. But uh, we're in the same genre as Metallica, definitely. Yeah. Tell me about your influences then. I mean, obviously, five or ten years ago when you guys were learning to play, there were no Metallicas around or Slayers. Who were you listening to? I definitely was listening to Kiss all the time. <laughs> you know, I, was, I was heavily into that. Uh -huh. you know, Black Sabbath, Deep Purple, yeah. you know, Led Zeppelin. Just the heaviest stuff. Yeah. All heaviest. the standard stuff. Yeah. Right. Now, you've never actually played in England before, have you? No, we haven't. But no. you're on Sunday... Right. The 15th of February is your debut in London supporting... Anthrax. Right. Have you seen Anthrax play before? Yeah. Oh, yeah. They've done uh, the last three shows on the tour they did with us mm -hmm. and Metallica. Mm-hmm. So we've, we've... And plus we toured the States with them for about a week and a half last year, so... <laughs> so what do you think? Do you rate them or do you think you can pull the rug from under them? Oh, we gotta think we can pull the rug out of from under everybody, right? <laughs> no, um, they're a great band, a great bunch of guys. We have a lot of fun. All right, all right, we've heard enough about Metallica and Anthrax. Let's see what Metal Church can do. This is their brand new video, and this is called Watch the Children Play. Yes, indeed. Mick Wall puts his foot in it again every time he opens his mouth. That was Metal Church and their brand new video. Not Watch the Children Play, but Watch the Children Pray. Right, guys? Right. Yeah. <laughs> you can watch them play. Now, is that track actually off your latest album, The Dark? Yes which was released, I believe, over this side of the Atlantic just a couple of months ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not really sure when. <laughs> is, this your, is this your second album? Yes. When did the first album actually come out? Uh, two years ago in November. Right, so why was there such a, a long gap between the, the two records? Um, well, also, b about a year after the release of the first album, we were um, making a negotiation with Elektra to, get, to insi get signed to Elektra. Right. And then after that, Put, got put on the road and just more delays and just that's I, I, I really don't know why but it just took a long time <laughs> well it was worth the wait it was worth um, the wait we've actually reviewed mm -hmm. the album on this show in the past and we've said how jolly good it is, is it? you're just <laughs> saying that yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but the test of course is whether people can remember it and whether they did actually go out and